yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Are you guys ready to rip this thing or what? Yes. You You're... might need a little bit of fuel. Yeah, I see it's a little empty. We just put the return on. We are good to go, guys. Today is the day that we will drive toast the 10.3 liter supercharged freedom machine built specifically for doing massive burnout. So toast, as you guys remember, beautiful freaking big block blueprint supercharged engine up here and get this thing running hopefully right today. We kind of had some issues running it before. We didn't really get to run it for long. We didn't have a cooling system. Now we got our radiator, which we got from Holly. We got the tune pulled up for the Dominator. Y'all ready to hear some bald eagles scream? Oh yeah, we got hoses now too. Yeah, I know. Dang, man, this is getting official. Look at this. Look at this bend around this. Hopefully our- uh, It's a custom molded hose. Hoping our belt doesn't swing and hit it. And we did loosen up the belt. You gotta have the belt pretty loose because the entire supercharger kind of expands and you don't want it to get tight. And then ruin the bearings that are in the supercharger snout. So or we're learning or off or your guys. Or snap a belt, yeah. So we're learning off your guys' comments. That was one thing someone noticed in the video when we first started it is that we had the belt too tight. We loosened it up. Everything is pretty much ready to roll on toast as far as we know. So let's get this thing idling right and then we should go on a drive. So it's not gonna idle well like that. We're also gonna work on some new uh, throttle linkage eventually. We're just, we're good to drive for today like this though. Cooper, you got the fuel? One of these is probably not even. Okay, I like your strategy. Can you throw some Mountain Dew in too? It's probably already is. Remember, rap, 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 rap. Sounds identical to what yeah, it sounds exactly like when turning. Exactly like that. All right, let me flash this tune on, and we'll try and start this baby up. If you give it 25% throttle, the water pump. It worked. There goes it, all of it. Whoa. We do know what we're doing with this Holly computer stuff. Wow. Dang, see that? Wow, that's it's moving some So water. quiet, that pump. I didn't even hear it's it. It's Mazir life. Dude, we got freaking <laughs> straight off summer racing, baby. All right. Well, I am ready to go. All right. close as we could possibly get it it was still making 1700 rpm wow <laughs> these should be sealed you know once they close so that's either we got a vacuum leak or something so we gotta do some investigating we'll probably put this back in just start it back up to see if it's good but everything else looks freaking awesome we got uh coolant temperature look perfect uh oil pressure is good everything's just it's working you could see where it can pull air around these. Yeah. They're not like perfectly seen. Can pull enough. Yeah, it's kind of an issue. All right, so we're gonna start it back up here, see what we can do to calm it down a little bit, but it's it's really uh, love and idling. This is bogging away. It's like a speed walker. So we're gonna start it back up and just see if we can get it calm. It might still be okay to just go into gear like this. But keep on.
any temperature. Sitting right at 170. What had happened was we had the idle pretty lean, like right, like 14, six, which is pretty standard for an idle on a gas scale car. Well, James is like, dude, it sounds freaking, it's just running away and on a carburetor it runs away when it's lean like this. So we were like, all right, well, we'll fatten it up, start it up. Now I got it trying to idle at almost nine to one, which is a lot richer. Yeah. Might foul the plugs out eventually, but the thing is, is it gets a scoop of air and it goes all the way up to like 14, eight. Yeah. Then it goes back down to nine up. So it's rich, then lean, then rich, then lean. It gets that surge, but. I've never really messed with a blower car, but I've been around them enough to know that like, you see them at idle and there's literally raw fuel spitting out yeah. of the pipes at idle. And then once they whack it, it just blows all that raw fuel out and just rips. I think we're ready to yeah. try it. Let's back this thing out. This thing's intimidating. Two. And then did you see how much better it was tipping on? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was right oh, into this it. This thing is intimidating. Had a lot of crisp, you know, it was real crisp for Evan. Holy crap, dude, this is sick, guys. We're about to drive Toast for the first time. Finally off the lift, folks. This is it. This is Toast's first ever drive right here. So I'm going to back it out of the shop, and then we're going to take it around the block. This is, uh, this is thrilling. I know the steering catches on the alternator, so. I'm going to call a catch. I'd say nicely grazes it. Uh, it might be a little Ever sketchy. Just slightly. And the header. We're, just, we're doing a lot, folks. The Cracker Barrel Cruiser. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no marks on the floor yet. Good lord, dude. I mean, I knew it was gonna be rowdy, but this is a whole freaking different level. We believe in you.
too. Get a break. Yeah. <laughs> we still gotta fix the old front right. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. That was insane. Yeah, that was pretty intense. <laughs> that, was, that was insane, dude. Oh. <laughs> I've never felt what a freaking thousand horsepower just it's it's so immediate with this it's right motor. there it's not like the turbo is going what? it's just bah, just all at once how'd it sound James it sounds rowdy. so much torque dude my adrenaline is still going oh, let's hop down yeah I think we lost a hole or two on our way back just from uh having it so rich we got to figure something out to to help with that situation because we had it real rich wow dude look at how cold the blower is that is insane like that's yeah. a lot of condensation i guess that's why you don't need the uh any heat exchanger or anything good lord yeah that, that is, is crazy cool, that's pretty cool huh how that's nuts cool. even the hat and everything gonna check the plug see how fat it is yeah how convenient that one is right there yeah that's what i figured i'd pull this one fouled to the nine in the back look at how foul this plug is guys so i think i got a plan for that we're gonna use timing and not you know we're gonna have to lighten up the fuel a little bit but i think between yeah. the timing and lightening up the fuel a little bit i'll still be able to keep in that area keep it surging yeah but well, not foul plugs i mean once we fine tune it and get that cell of where we have that extra fuel real yeah. tight the second you come out of that <laughs> cell it'll clean up yeah cooper did you see the 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 cell on the holly it's like woof 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 dancing around like little <laughs> 16 17 numbers like going across all the oh, yeah it's a little pissy all right guys so as much as we want to do the first burnout today we got to get the tune up right so we don't fry this engine we got to make sure it's 100 percent, and then we'll do our burnout so the next video when you guys get back here will be our drive around tuning and also we're going to put toast on the dyno so post your horsepower guesses below this is a super exciting day for toast we finally got it driving it's a uh, it's definitely an amazing feeling so really excited about toast and what's to come and you're fascinated by that spark plug huh I've never seen an ethanol plug look this bad. Well, you know what we were doing. Usually the ethanol plugs are like bone white. Yeah, we know? knew what we were doing going into it. So yeah, we successfully drove toast today, guys. Hope you guys are excited. But that is it for now. Thanks for watching, Dude for Dale. We will freaking see you later.